In this tutorial, you will learn how to run a thin layer chromatography plate, as well as how to determine which solvent you should use for this method. Locate the bag of TLC plates. Be gentle when handling the plates, or you will scratch off the white silica surface. To set up the plate, use a pencil to draw a line on the bottom. The line should be higher than the solvent level in the chamber. This should be around a half inch. Also, write your initials on the plate so you can identify which is your unknown. You will be testing many different solvent ratios of ethyl acetate and hexanes to determine which best separates your unknown. Use one plate for each solvent mixture you plan to test. We recommend having a classmate or two share a plate with you. Create a standard using a drop of your unknown and one milliliter of acetone. Using a capillary tube, dot your standard on the pencil line at the bottom of the plate. You will use the same capillary tube the entire lab. You do not need to squeeze the bulb, the tube will suck up liquid on its own using capillary action. Look at the plate under UV light to make sure you have enough unknown on the plate before running it in the TLC chamber. If there is a noticeable dot under the UV, you are ready to test your TLC plate. If you cannot easily make out the dot, place more of your unknown on it using the capillary tube. This is a plate with too little unknown, and here is one with too much unknown. Use the TLC chambers to test your solvent mixtures, and try to form a group to run several plates at once with. The chambers are glass boxes, and use only the solvent that is labeled on the top. The solvents evaporate very quickly, so move fast and lean your TLC plate against the inside wall of the chamber, and replace the lid immediately. Make sure the solvent does not sit above the line you drew. Wait until the solvent has run up near the top of the plate. Do not open the chamber until that point. Then quickly remove your plate and draw a line using a pencil to mark the point that the solvent reached. Let the plate dry, then check it again under the UV light. Using a pencil, circle the visible dots. If you can't see your dots, use the I2 chamber. Using the TLC results, decide which solvent mixture is best to use with your unknowns.